Well, after a more than five hour detention hearing, the judge did grant the release of Quintez Brown back to his grandmother's house on home incarceration. However, the United States did request to stay in custody until they can file an appeal and they have until 5 p.m. on Monday. That was granted. In court this afternoon, Quintez Brown and his family were visibly emotional as prosecutors revealed new information about the case. Federal prosecutors said Brown actually went to Craig Greenberg's home on February 13th, the night before the shooting in Butchertown. They say Brown tried to shoot Greenberg there, but the gun jammed. Prosecutors said the next morning, Brown went to a local pawn shop and bought a second gun an hour before they say he shot at Greenberg in his campaign office. The defense told us after the hearing they believe the federal case is racially motivated and say the decision for him to be released was proper. We requested the home incarceration, the treatment, uh, having these uh, third party custodians and people coming by to make sure he's following all the conditions, that that's more than sufficient to make sure that there's not another person, mayoral candidate or otherwise, or the community is going to be put at any risk of danger. The prosecution also told the court they discovered Brown possibly had plans of doing harm to another mayoral candidate as well. I heard that for the first time today. We've not received all the discovery in this case. Brown's defense attorneys argue their client is struggling with severe mental issues. They say he was admitted into a treatment center for a week at the end of February. His attorneys say the center determined he is severely depressed. Under the judge's decision, Brown will live with his grandmother. U of L professor Dr. Ricky Jones, who is close with Brown, will also serve as another custodian who must make weekly visits. It certainly goes uh, to show what kind of person Mr. Brown is that somebody like Dr. Jones would come down and have that testimony. His reputation is impeccable in this community. If the grant for release is upheld, Brown will remain on home incarceration until trial. In Louisville, Ford Sanders, WHS 11, on your side. We also want to remind you this federal case is separate from the state's charges Brown is facing. In that case, he's charged with attempted murder and wanton endangerment.